Ave Maria, welcome again to Cato Pinoy Franciscan Vesper or Evening Prayer. And once again, your host and companion, Father Johannes Jeremy Maria Salise of the Franciscan Friars of the Immaculate. So we are already in Evening Prayer 2, 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. So if you have your bravery like this or digital, let us start by praying the invocation of Saint Bonaventure. Lord, open my lips to praise your holy name. Cleanse my heart from any wordless, evil, or distracting thoughts. Give me the wisdom and love necessary to pray this office with attention, reverence, and devotion. Father, let my prayer be heard in your presence, for it is offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O Christ, you are the light and day, which drives away the night. The ever-shining Son of God, and pledge of future life. And now the evening shadows fall, please grant us, Lord, we pray, a quiet night to rest in you until the break of day. Remember us, poor mortal men, we humbly ask, O Lord, and may your presence in our souls be now our great reward. First Antiphon The Lord said to my Master, Sit at my right hand. Alleluia. From Psalm 110, verse 1 to 5 and 7. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will will from Zion, your scepter of power. Rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth, on the holy mountains. From the womb before the dawn I begot thee. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. First Antiphon The Lord said to my Master, Sit at my right hand. Alleluia. Second Antiphon Our compassionate Lord has left us a memorial of His wonderful work. Alleluia. Psalm 111 I will thank the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just and their assembly. Great are the works of the Lord, to be pondered by all who love them. Majestic and glorious His work, His justice stands firm forever. He makes us remember His wonders. The Lord is compassion and love. He gives food to those who fear Him, keeps His covenant ever in mind. He has shown His might to His people by giving them the lands of the nations. His works are justice and truth. His precepts are all of them sure, standing firm forever and ever. They are made in uprightness and truth. He has sent deliverance to His people and established His covenant forever. Holy His name to be feared. To fear the Lord is the first stage of wisdom. All who do so prove themselves wise. wise. His praise shall last forever. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Second Antiphon Our compassionate Lord has left us a memorial of His wonderful work. Alleluia. Third Antiphon All power is yours, Lord God, our mighty King. Alleluia. Canticle is taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 1 to 7. Alleluia! Salvation, glory, and power to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia! Alleluia! Sing praise to our God, all you His servants, all who worship Him, reverently, great and small. Alleluia! Alleluia! The Lord, our all-powerful God, is King. Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give Him glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. The wedding feast of the Lamb has begun, and His bride is prepared to welcome Him. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Third Antiphon. All power is yours. Lord God, our mighty King. Alleluia. Reading is taken from the first letter of St. Peter, chapter 1, verse 3 to 5. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who is in His great mercy gave us new birth, a birth unto hope which draws its life, from the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, a birth to an in to an imperishable inheritance, incapable of fading or defilement, which is kept in heaven for you, who are guarded with God's power through faith, a birth to a salvation which stands ready to be revealed in the last days. Responsory, the whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. Response, the whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. Eternal ages praise. Response. The greatness of your glory. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Response. The whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. Canticle of Mary. Teacher, what is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with your whole heart. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has mercy on those who fear Him in every generation. He has shown the strength of His arm. He has scattered the proud in the conceit. He has cast down the mighty from the thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the which He has sent away empty. He has come to the help of His servant Israel, for He has remembered His promise of mercy. The promise He made 
to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Canticle of Mary Teacher, what is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with your whole heart. Intercessions The world was created by the Word of God, recreated by His redemption, and it is continually renewed by His love. Rejoicing in Him, we call out. Response, renew the wonders of your love, Lord. We give thanks to God, whose power is revealed in nature. Response, and whose providence is revealed in history. Through your Son, the herald of reconciliation, the victor of the cross, responds, free us from empty fear and hopelessness. May all those who love and pursue justice, response, work together without deceit to build a world of true peace. Be with the oppressed, free the captives, console the sorrowing, feed the hungry, strengthen the weak response in all people reveal the victory of your cross after your son's death and burial you raise him up again in glory response grant that the faithful departed may live with him so brothers and sisters let us include in this franciscan vesper our family relatives friends and loved ones our faithful departed those who have birthday today, including Mother Isabella of the Mimen Toffee here in Bicol, and those who are celebrating their birthday today, let us include them. And also, let us not forget to include our frontliners, our brothers and sisters uh, affected by this coronavirus. And let us pray to our Blessed Mother for the stop of this pandemic, the end of this pandemic, this coronavirus. And let us also pray to our Blessed Mother for the medicine and vaccine to fight this pandemic. Now let us pause a moment of silence for our own personal intention. Now let us pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. God our Father, your light of truth, guide us to the way of Christ. May all who follow him reject what is contrary to the gospel. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, your family, relatives, friends, and loved ones, your health in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. So have a blessed evening, a blessed Sunday. And don't forget, always remember, Smile, be happy. Mama Mary loves you. Ave Maria.